He is crazy. He is old. But is he a coot? It's time for the crazy old coot. Good morning, it's crazy old coot here. How are you doing? I'm doing fine this great day. This is about my quest for 7.1 surround sound. It started a few months ago when I noticed just about most of the games I played were just stereo. So if somebody came from behind me, I, I couldn't hear him. It was just throwing me off a little bit. So I started doing research and uh, I found out that SP diff is mostly uncompressed. It can do is stereo. Now, when you get into the compressed algorithms, you can do 5.1 and 7.1. But whatever you're using, you know, your game you're playing has to be able to use those compressed files. And while I was doing some more research, I came across the thing where they were saying SPDIF is, is well and good for listening to music and all that stuff. There's some minor timing issues, but they said most people won't even notice it. But the other thing is, is there's a slight delay using SPDIF because the sound has to get translated to light and then transmit it up to the, by light up to your receiver. And then it's going to be converted back to analog to be sent out to your speakers. I decided I wanted to come up with another solution. Obvious one was HDMI. And that probably would have worked if I had a home receiver that had ARC, but I don't. I tried using a, a box, but all I could get out of it was stereo, even though it had a 5.1 switch. I kind of gave up on that after spending 35 bucks. Want to connect SP diff and you don't have SP diff on your motherboard. This, if you have an HDMI, extra HDMI slot in your graphics card, you can plug in there, plug into this device, and this has an SP diff out that you can send to your stereo. So that's another way you can connect to your home theater. After a lot of research, I was thinking about, you know, getting a new sound card or, or stuff like that. And then, it, you know, the obvious sometimes, you know, takes a while to slap you in the face because my motherboard can do 7.1 sound. The problem is, is this going to take a few wires? I had to buy four cables that were stereo 3.5 you know jack stereo on one end to plug into the uh, the motherboard and then on the other end it had to have RCA jacks you know a red and white RCA jack now we're talking in order to connect your computer to your receiver the way I did your receiver has to have this a button to switch your DVD to multi-channel. So if we go to the next picture, see this is the DVD multi-channel. This is where you connect up your front, your surround, your center, your subwoofer, and your surround back. So this gives you the 7.1. Here's a, a close-up. And here is the back of the computer. This is the uh, SPDIF connection. And here is your four stereo jacks that connect to your computer. Now, this is from my receiver's manual. Your manuals are important. And here it's showing you that section I just showed you pictures of and this is a large up and this is your front, your surround, your center, your sub, and your surround back. And this shows it going to a DVD player, but we're not going to a DVD player. And these, again, these are, these are your RCA jacks. We're going to a computer. So over here is your computer thing. Here is your, your SP diff. 
and then here are your four channels. Notice I had to label them here because I was getting confused with all the cross wiring and stuff. So here is your center subwoofer and your subwoofer is red. Here is your surround, your, your side, here are your rear, and obviously your front. This is my manual. Here is another motherboard that I have, it's manual. And again, they laid out, you know, which port does what. So depending on how you want to set it up, this is how you would do it. Always, always, always consult your motherboard manual and your receiver manual because they will tell you exactly how to set these up. Now we have to set things up in Windows 10. The first thing you're going to do is go down to your speaker, right click it, and open sound settings. Click on that. And you're going to get this pop-up. And this is where you can select different things, but what we really want to get to is the sound control panel. So we get, click on the sound control panel and up comes the sound control panel. Now we slip down. This is the 7.1 going to the receiver. So if we click on this and hit test, one, two, three, point one, four, five, six, seven. We get all seven speakers. We go in here and just show you properties. So this is the layout is where you can set your sound level in the advance. This is where you're going to set the quality. This is uh, studio quality. And you can hit the test button here and it'll do the same thing. One. Okay. And spatial sound is only for uh, if you're using headphones, but we're not, so we don't need that. So that's there. Now this one is for the SPDF, this one right here. That's for my microphone, what I'm using right now. So we click on that and uh, right click this. We're going to set this as default. So that shuts off the 7.1 and goes to the SP diff. Now I go to my receiver, click the VCR button because that's what I've got the uh, SP diff set to. Go to properties. Advanced, test, test, one, two, just stereo. Now here's supported formats. If your game support this format, then you probably can get 5.1 through your SP diff. And this is like what sample rate and 48 kilohertz is usually what you use because that's um, DVD quality. And that's where you set that up here. Again, spatial sound is the same thing. Get this to run, we have to go here. Set as default device. So that's now the default device. We'll go. And now I have to turn on, it on the uh, receiver. I push DVD and then the, the multi-channel button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've got 7.1 sound again. Now to wrap things up, I'm going to show you four short video clips. Two of the video clips are going to be NPCs talking both in SP diff and 7.1 and then me shooting a pistol in 7.1 and in SP diff so SP diff will be first in both times and in 7.1 will be the second clip in both times I videoed my monitor 
and the speakers were like two feet away from my uh, camera. So the idea is to see if you can tell the, the lag difference. Without further ado, let's uh, roll them. Hey, Piper. You've got my undivided attention. Your thoughts? There's a story here. We'll find it. Your thoughts? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Your thoughts? Doing the right thing rarely makes you popular. But I don't think I could live with myself otherwise. I was just wondering where you and I stand. I'm with the person I love. Helping those in need. I couldn't imagine a better life. Hey, Piper. Something I can do? Your thoughts? There's a story here. We'll find it. Your thoughts? Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Your thoughts? Hey, no face. Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Your thoughts? Matt always said I was the lucky one. Seems this was right. Are things all right between us? Blue, I'm on cloud nine. Things couldn't be better. And that's all thanks to you. It's been too long since I picked a fight. It's time for my final thoughts. In the talking cuts, I thought the SP diff was uh, better synchronized than the 7.1. And it may have been because I was in the open world and different things were going on that may have affected the timing. But in the shooting cuts, the 7.1 was better. I was able to uh, measure the time differences between when the shot was fired and when it became audible. The 7.1 setup was an amazing 0 0.05 seconds faster than the SP. Let's be real, 0 0.05 seconds is not going to make that much of a difference between hearing a twig snap behind you so you can turn around. So for that reason, I don't think you should make the switch. But if you want the real surround sound that's prob and you're having difficulty like I was getting it, with the uh, SP diff, then wiring it is definitely a solution. So uh, this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening. <laughs>